All right, I'm up to Sagittarius, I think, yeah. Hey, Saggies, what's happening? Let's see what messages wanna come through for you guys. Just put this angle right. Okay, so my readings are, I'm getting a little bit tired because I haven't channeled for a while. It takes a lot of energy. Um, and I'm pretty exhausted because I drove like from, where was I this week? I drove from, I drove from Sydney to Melbourne to Adelaide this week. And yeah, I'm trying to just rest before I, anyway, I'm a bit tired and channeling takes a lot of energy. You'd be surprised how like tiring it is. Cause when you channel, you have to be in a high vibration cause you're connecting with the heavens, the ethers. So like it's really dense and low vibrational down on earth. So we have to vibrate really high to make the connection. And it requires a fair bit of my energy when I'm doing it. So that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Okay. So, all right, let's make the connection. All right. Who is it? Sagittarius. Interesting. That's confirmation. We have a lamb. So I feel like Sagittarius, you are dealing with someone very pure, very innocent. We have a little lamb energy and little lamby is very, very sweet. They're very, very innocent. They're very pure and they're of the light. <sighs> this is like earth angel energy. Um, I feel like this lamb might be quite exhausted because as I'm channeling, there's a lot of like tiredness and yawning that's coming through so if you're the lamb you are very innocent and pure and you might be exhausted from situations people or or like spiritual attacks like someone very innocent and pure is very very drained very very tired um you might be getting attacked spiritually is kind of the vibe of getting like you're exhausted from it because you're an innocent and pure person and i feel like you just keep getting yeah another one about purity and innocence and you keep getting targeted you keep getting attacked so i'm strongly feeling like there's been a spiritual attack on you and i think you're exhausted because I feel like you're constantly having to let go of people. So we have a lamb who's very innocent, very pure, and she's of the light. And she's very like childlike, very innocent. And like, you know, like children, how they're so like, it's like Aurora of Melissa, Melissa, Maleficent. And I feel like, unfortunately, you've had to let go of a lot of people in your life because you've got this beautiful, pure, sweet energy. So I feel like you've learned that you've got to have very fierce boundaries because you are a, a, a person with integrity, good intentions, very pure, very innocent. And I feel like you're a lamb to the slaughter sometimes because you have this earth angel, beautiful innocence about you. And I think, you know, you're, you're divinely guided and spirit guides you often to let go of people because they do not deserve to have you in their orbit, in their life. And I'm just feeling like you're exhausted because you're like, there's going to be nobody left. Like everyone is so dark, so toxic. Nobody is worthy. Nobody is worthy is kind of the vibe I'm getting from you. So let's clarify um, a little bit more for you. It just seems like you're constantly cutting people out of your life. Like, cause, cause people are being tested, right? They're, they're tested by spirit, the universe, a higher power. Are they worthy of you? You know, do they deserve to have a beautiful person like you in their life? And I feel like, you know, not many people have passed this test. Not many people have, um, heads are rolling is what I heard. Heads will roll. Heads have rolled. Like, it's like, you're just exhausted. From like the sabotage, the deception, the betrayal. And I'm just I'm just feeling it like on a strong level. You're just tired. You're like, is is there ever gonna be a person in my life who's worthy of me? And we have the starfish. <laughs> I 
Okay, so I feel like you're a masculine energy's wish fulfillment. I still feel like you. this is you, your energy. You're coming up as a dream come true for this masculine. Like, you are his dream girl. And I feel like this is a divine masculine who's curious about you. We have that old gnome's energy. I feel like he's wondering if he can get you, if he can manifest you. Is he worthy? So I feel like this is a divine feminine type energy who's very innocent, pure, and sweet. And I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of masculine energies who want this feminine, who want to connect with her. And there's been like a spiritual test um, to see who is worthy. And I feel like your latest admirer, admirer, sorry, sees you as a dream come true and a wish fulfillment. He's curious if he can get you, if he can manifest you, if he can have this connection with you. So let's clarify what he's curious about. I don't feel like channeling... Um, I feel like intuitively pulling the card. Okay, so he might have ran away from this connection. So I feel like it's a masculine who who snuck out on the connection. Um, but you're his dream girl and a wish fulfillment. And with the feline's energy, he must have ran from his feelings. And I feel like he's curious if he can get you back um, because he wants a peaceful resolution with you. So I just think this is a masculine who's wounded and traumatized from his past experiences and he has a bit of healing he needs to do. And connecting with you on such a deep level. This is also my true love card. So this could be your true love. You might have like a true love connection. That's this masculine's wish fulfillment. Because I feel like this masculine wants forever with somebody. Like he wants to be in a relationship that's going to last forever. So you're his dream girl. You're his wish fulfillment. Because you're his true love. His endless love. You're his endless love I heard. And I feel like you both want this connection. Because you're both done with toxicity. Like this feminine has had to let go of a lot of suitors because they weren't worthy of her. They weren't loyal. They didn't have integrity. They betrayed her. They cheated. They lied. They ran away from their feelings. However it applies, like a spirit, a higher power was, was testing, the divine was testing these masculines. And this feminine is only single because no one has shown that they have been worthy of her. So I feel like there's a masculine, you know, who is being tested right now. Um, is he worthy? Is he going to step up? Is he going to show the universe, spirit, God, a higher power that he's worthy of you? You're his dream come true, his wish fulfillment. But he may have previously ran away in fear, snuck out on the connection, might have failed his initial initiation there. So let's find out what the connective energy is. Okay, so you guys um, are emotionally triggered by each other so you have this deep soul connection that's quite triggering what are you guys triggered about all right so i feel like the masculine was behaving immaturely and the masculine is triggered and the feminine is triggered by his immature behavior so i feel like the feminine has had to let go and detach from the masculine because he has more lessons to learn and he needs to resolve his issues with why he ran away from his feelings and I feel like you're both triggered because you feel like this behavior was quite immature by this masculine. So let's find out what action the masculine wants to take. Like he's curious because you're his dream girl, he's wish fulfillment. What action does he want to take towards you? Okay, he wants to make you happy. He wants to be happy. He wants to laugh again. So the hummingbird is the bringer of joy. So he wants to make you happy. He wants to be happy with you. He wants to make you laugh. He just wants to bring laughter, joy, playfulness, and happiness back into your connection, which is a beautiful thing. And he sees you guys as like best friends. So he wants to get the friendship back. He wants to make you laugh. He wants to make you smile again. And he wants to be your best friend, which is really beautiful energy. So it's very healthy. I think this masculine is mastering himself. So we've got the master maker here. So this masculine is learning. He's growing. He's evolving. He's, he's um, becoming more worthy because he's working on his worthiness and he has learned his lesson. So he's being tested by a higher power right now. And I think he's um, learned the lesson. He wants to resolve his issues. He doesn't want to keep being, um, you know, and he doesn't want to keep abandoning you. He doesn't want to keep running away from you know, his feelings. He, you know, he's quite wounded, but he's trying to figure out how he can resolve his trauma, his triggers. He wants to come back and make you happy, make you laugh, which is very high vibrational 
and he wants to restore and reconnect with you on a beautiful friendship level this is like the i support you you support me the best friends card and you guys must both have a really good sense of humor because there's a lot of laughter in this energy like it's very funny so he wants to laugh with you again he wants to joke around with you again he wants to play and he's he's in the master makers energy which is like an emperor so this is a very divine masculine like he's very he's a very strong masculine he's noble and he's in alignment so this energy he's in is in alignment so you've got a masculine who was out of alignment he chose fear instead of love and now he's coming back into alignment because he's releasing his insecurities and his fears and he's vibrating in the frequency of joy happiness laughter and love which is a beautiful thing so he's curious if he does this if he'll get you back so that is the situation there let's find out what action the lamb wants to take towards a connection she's let go okay we have the um energy of the beast so i feel like this is a feminine who's just focused on work right now I feel like she is disappointed in love. So she's putting her focus, attention, and energy on work. And she has boundaries towards the masculine. So I feel like this is a feminine who's just focused on working really hard, making her money. And I feel like with the dark lady's energy, she's just going to put up boundaries towards um, the masculine because he let her down and disappointed her in the past. And she doesn't want to feel triggered or hurt by... Um, immature behavior again so the feminine is going to be working really hard and she's going to have boundaries towards the masculine and she's going to be quite defensive so he's going to have to come in with that beautiful energy and make her laugh again to get her feel to feel comfortable and i'm hearing that song like genie in a bottle he's going to have to rub her the right way to get her to let down that um that guard so let's find out the strongest thing this masculine is feeling for the feminine. What's the strongest thing he's feeling for you? Oh, shit. So he wants to turn things around. So this is a very strong energy of a masculine who wants to make it right. He wants to make it up to you. He wants to get the good vibes back in the connection because I feel like he's frustrated. He's really frustrated right now. We've got the fire ants energy. He might be kicking himself because you're a unicorn. So it's a masculine who recognizes your value, feminine. And that's why he's being tested by the universe. You are a very rare, unique, mystical, innocent, pure, kind soul. And you're very, 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 very special. And he wants to turn things around with you because he's recognizing your worth, your value, your rarity, your uniqueness. So... I think he's really sad and disappointed. We have the gloominous dreams energy that he let you down, that he chose the path of fear instead of love and he got triggered by his trauma and he panicked and he ran away. So I feel like with the gloominous dreams energy, he's quite, you know, traumatized from heartbreak and past experiences. And I don't think this masculine has recognized that you're a gift from God and that you're innocent, you're pure, you're not going to hurt him and that you're brought into his life to help him heal because you're this beautiful unicorn, right? And all you want to do is give this masculine love. This is a true love connection. So I think, you know, the universe brought you into this masculine's life to help him heal from all this trauma. So this is the masculine's trauma. We've got all this wounding here that he needs to heal and work through. So I feel that you were brought into his life to help him heal and work through this together. So let's see why you were brought into this masculine's life. Why were you brought into this masculine's life? Just clarify this. Because you're a light worker. We have the firefly. So the firefly is the energy of the light. So you're a light worker. You're here to help people heal, to awaken them to the, the right path in life. And you work your light and um, you bring light into people's lives. So this masculine was in the darkness. He was wounded. He was sad. He was needing the light and the light is love the light is unconditional love it's joy it's playfulness it's laughter you know and when we switch off the lights and we're sitting in the darkness it just takes you know someone to show up with a candle to help light that person's path and guide them back to the path of love and you know god and spirit a higher power is love and you are 
unconditionally loved if you're you know, on the path of the, the divine. And so the universe has blessed this masculine with love, with light to help guide him. You know, this firefly is help, helping guide this masculine through love, through light out of his dark place, out of his heartbreak. So that's a beautiful thing and it's a blessing and a gift from the divine for this masculine to recognize. So he's being tested right now because you're very special feminine and only those who are worthy get to keep such a beautiful gift. You're a treasure. All right. So that's the situation. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading, Sagittarius. If you're resonating with the message, the link is below in the description box. Um, let's find out what the guidance is moving forward. Okay, we have the panther and we have the turtle. I feel like this masculine sometimes gets very triggered and emotionally overwhelmed because I feel like he gets quite possessive. So I feel like your guidance is to work through those issues um, because I think this masculine might have some kind of jealousy issues or abandonment issues or insecurities and it's due to his trauma from past experiences and he, I feel like the guidance is sometimes masculine you project this onto the feminine um, but she's your mirror and she's reflecting back to you what you need to work through what you need to resolve and heal that gets you into this space of running so um, yeah you have a little bit more inner work to do so that you're not so triggered by the connection and it's all about bringing this to the surface for healing because this feminine is here to help you heal but sometimes healing can make us uncomfortable it can make us triggered when you have a deep love connection it makes you um it brings that up in your dna and it, and it brings it up for healing so you just have to work through that and be vulnerable and talk and be open about your feelings and what you're feeling when you're going through something spiritual and you know healing like this but it is a blessing and a gift so don't be afraid of it is what they're kind of saying sometimes it makes you really 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 triggered and possessive which is a bit you know um difficult to work through and you get overwhelmed and then that's why you ran in the in the past but this feminine is a healer and a guide for you so reach out to her rather than running away and, and, and she'll be able to help you heal and work through that energy. Oops. All right. I'm going to take this over the extended reading. I'll see you over there. All the information is in the description box below.